the Olympic Games in Melbourne, Australia, 1956. The 1st of December, the 1500 metres final, and Ronnie Delaney is there. Delaney, the first Irishman to break four minutes for the mile. But there was great controversy as to whether he should be chosen at all to go to Melbourne. What an error that would have been, but to Melbourne he went. My information is that it was only on the casting vote of the chairman that he was chosen. My goodness, had they missed there, it would have been some omission, wouldn't it? Anyway, he went and he got through to the final. They were all there in that final, including the wonderful John Landy. I remember listening to the commentary on the BBC and the reception was crackly. But we were listening out for the name Delaney. And then he said, the man from ERA is making a move. And boy, there was nobody could make a move like Delaney. Not that far off the front. Delaney, third from the back, is making a move. He's going up strong. It's still Houston in the lead. The German, Ruxenheim, has gone in there into second place. Delaney was famous for his kick and kick he did that day. A relatively slow first three laps, but my goodness, at that last 400 metres, he really flew. 58.36 he ran it on. And you know something else? Delaney ran that last 300 metres in 38.8 seconds. And he passed them all, came around the crown of the last bend, into the finishing straight, and he got them all for dead, including Hewson and John Landon. And as he crossed and broke the tape, and you broke the tape in those days, and realized he had the gold medal and was the champion of the Olympics at 1,500 meters, he genuflected and crossed himself. And John Landy came to offer his congratulations to the man from Ireland. Could you imagine 1956 being now put in the present day and Ronnie Delaney coming home? There wouldn't be one party in the park. They'd be out there for a week. It'll be the Pope and you two and everything all rolled together. Delaney, 341.2, Olympic champion.